Well, hello, fellow film fans, and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Tyler's Real Movie Talk. And in this video, I'm going to give you my Avengers Infinity War non-spoiler review. Yes, non-spoiler, no need to worry about that. I'm going to keep it as vague as I possibly can, because this is a movie I really believe you need to go into really not knowing anything. But before we get into my review, definitely if you're a fan of movie talk, movie reviews, and really everything of that nature, definitely consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell down below, which will notify you anytime I have any new content coming out. But with that out of the way, let's get right into this review. So let's start out with, I really love this movie. I think it is the best movie in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Now that's just my opinion. I think they did this movie fantastic. And you know what? The Russo brothers deserve a ton of credit because the task they they were handed with this film and juggling all these characters and letting them all have their shine was really monumental and the way they handled it was the best that they possibly could. Kudos to the Russo brothers. They have done it again with Avengers Infinity War. So now let's get into the things that I really loved about the film. Number one, of course, I'm going to go there, Thanos. Thanos is a spectacular spectacular villain and I really enjoy how the Russo brothers portrayed him look there were a lot more layers to him than I thought there would be you know what I mean like there is a ton of emotional layers to this character and I really like that about the film and you know what makes a great villain is when they think what they are doing is right a great villain thinks that he is the hero of his own story, and that is definitely Thanos, and I just really love what the Russo brothers did to him, and I really like how they handled him. Look, they promised to deliver us a great villain, and they certainly did that, and you really get into that within the first five to ten minutes of this film. You really know what kind of villain you're in for, and let me just say, it is spectacular. Thanos is great. Josh Brolin playing Thanos is absolutely fantastic, and I just really loved Thanos in this movie. Now, the next thing I really enjoyed was the team-ups between the different groups of Avengers. Now, we know in the trailer they get separated up into different groups, and really, you know, some of the groups are great, some of them not so much, but really most of them, and really, you know, I would just say most of them are definitely great, and I really loved really almost every single group in this movie because they all get their own time to shine, they all have character dynamics and back-and-forth banter that is absolutely fantastic. Really, Tony Stark and Doctor Strange, I mean, they're back and forth were fantastic in this movie and you know what I take back what I said earlier really all of the groups in this movie are fantastic and I really think especially Marvel fans are going to get a huge kick out of all of them when they see them and see what groups they end up in and everything like that. Now the next thing I really enjoyed about this movie, look, the humor is on point. For about the first half of this movie, I was laughing hysterically. The, the jokes hit and they hit you in just the right way and they really need to because the stakes of this film are so high and that was one thing I was worried about going into this, you know, would the humor mess with the stakes of the film? And let me tell you, it does. Does not the stakes of this film are sky high and you feel the weight of that in this movie and you really need the humor to you know has to like lay off the emotion a little bit you know what I mean like the humor just it it was great I can't say enough about the humor in this movie and the way and when they do it and the way they do it is absolutely fantastic you know they add a pressure to you and then they relieve the pressure with the humor so they do that fantastically in this movie now, also, the action of this film is great. Look, a lot of people wanted it to be like Civil War, the airport sequence. And I gotta say, you know, some of the scenes were very much better than the airport sequence, in my opinion. I mean, the action is absolutely phenomenal in this movie. And it really points to the Russo Brothers directing because they've done it again in that aspect. Now, also, the last act of the movie, I'm not going to get into any details about the last act, but the last act of the movie is phenomenal. I think it's the best act we've ever seen in any Marvel film because it has you glued to your seat, and really the whole movie does. I mean, I had to go pee, but I really did not want to because there's so much going on. You really feel like if you leave for, you know, two seconds, you're going to miss something. So that's something I really enjoyed about it as well you know the last act especially i mean the build up to it is definitely worth it in the end and it really was fantastic i mean especially the action in the last act i mean my goodness was it phenomenal 
Also, one more thing I can say about this film is it is far more emotional than I expected. I did not expect it to be as emotional as it was, but it definitely was, you know what I mean? Like, it has the right emotional beats that you want a great movie to have mixed with the great humor that you want a great movie to have. And I really just appreciate what the Russo brothers and what Kevin Feige have done. Look, they've built this up for 10 years, and they definitely, in my opinion, deliver on it in this movie now we do got to get into some of my negatives and some of my some of my negatives excuse me include you know some of the characters don't get the proper shine i feel like in this movie but the russo brothers have stated you know some of the characters that don't get the shine in this movie will get the shine in avengers 4 so you know i just really felt like some of the characters didn't get the shine that they deserved but you know that's to be expected there's like seventy two thousand characters in this film so you know you're gonna have to sacrifice you know one or two of them in terms of you know the spotlight and the shine but really, all in all, I have nothing but great things to say about this movie. It had me glued to my seat. I was on the edge of my seat. There's twists and turns. They do things you would never, ever expect. And it is just really a fantastic film. This is definitely a movie I would say that you guys need to go out and see immediately. Because if it gets spoiled for you, then I'm truly sorry if it does. But this is definitely a movie you want to see with no spoilers because, you know, there are a lot of parts in this film that are pretty shocking and they go unexpected ways. But that's what I thought about Avengers Infinity War. Look, to me, it's the best Marvel movie they've ever done. But after you guys see it, definitely let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Do you guys agree or disagree with my opinion and why or why not? And if you guys like this video, be sure to click that thumbs up. And with all that out of the way, thank you for watching.